Hello, my name is Matthew Hykov with BMC Atrium Orchestrator. Today, I'd like to talk about best practices for workflow design with an eye toward memory management. We are interested in two types of memory, the used heap space and the thread count. You can find information about exactly what these are and what they do online or in Java documentation. Often, the heap space and thread count are somewhat independent of each other, but the methods we use to keep them under control are similar. In many cases, most of BAO's memory load is consumed by running processes. By designing processes with small footprints, we let BAO run more processes at once and better handle high load. The most direct way workflows affect heap space is in context items that span multiple workflows. BAO passes all information to workflows by reference. When you pass a context item, like your adapter response, from one workflow to a child workflow, BAO creates a copy of that context item for the child. Both the parent and the child have the full context item, and changes to the child's version of the context item do not affect the parent's version. This means you can have several versions of a large context item, one for each running workflow. BAO keeps those copies until the root workflow ends. So if you pass the same context item to several child workflows, you consume that memory for the entire life of the parent workflow. Because of this, it is generally better to split a large context item into its relevant parts. If a child workflow will only use some small part of a context item, like a host name instead of an entire adapter response, pass just that small part to the, con to the child workflow. This causes less duplication of data, and the workflow has a smaller footprint. Also, you can remove context items you are no longer using so they do not take up space in the context item store. For more information on this, check the BAO documentation on the page Deleting a Context with an Assigned Statement. The goal is to have large context items only as you need them, to prevent large, unused data from consuming too much space. The other main component of BAO's memory utilization is threads. Among other things, a peer uses one thread for each running workflow. That is, not one thread for each root job, but one thread for each workflow that has started but not ended. If you have your main workflow A, which calls child workflow B, which calls C, all the way down to Z, your one job is actually using 26 threads. For this reason, BMC strongly advises against using spawn activities with many nodes, each of which requires a thread, or recursive workflows, which can take up any number of threads. Especially deep recursion can exhaust a peer's thread space and cause the grid to hang. We recommend broader workflow design instead of deeper design where it is feasible. That is, instead of having workflow A which calls B which calls C, have workflow B compete, complete and return to A, then have A call C, and so on. This also makes it easier to follow the workflow in a tool like Operator Control Panel or the Development Studio Debugger, because you can see the job progress from activity to activity instead of waiting on a single long-running call process activity. Both the heap space and the threads used by a workflow are affected by the workflow's duration. As we said, a workflow does not release the memory for a context item until its root job ends, and every running workflow uses a thread. Workflows with shorter runtimes consume memory for less time, giving other jobs the resources they need. It is also usually easier to reuse smaller child workflows in other places, and to follow them in the process logs. Of course, if your workflow is waiting on a long-running adapter request, there is nothing the workflow can do to make that request faster. But if your workflow spends a lot of time in pause activities waiting for something to happen in another system, consider instead using a launch job process to schedule another workflow that will run later and finish the operation. If you want to monitor your heap space and thread count, there are several ways you can do it. Heap space and thread count for all peers are recorded in the health metrics under these names. The dashboard records the latest information for the same values. You can also check the BAO console view to get the current live utilization for one peer. The URL here is an example. 
just append console to your grid manager URL after the peer type to see that peer's console view. Thank you. Have a nice day.